welcome to Mochi's Mochi Style Club. Hi everyone and welcome back. I hope you guys are doing great. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how to make this designer inspired decor items. So if you want to see how I made it, just keep watching. So here are my inspirations. The first one was actually a request of DIY from one of my subscribers. She asked that I do a smaller mirror. And here's my inspiration. The regular price is $370. And here is the inspiration for the clock. Uh, this is going for $109. So let's go ahead and get started. So here's the clock that I'll be using here. I got this from Walmart for about $5. And I also will be using this uh, photo frame from the Dollar Tree. I did find some more in the stores. So for those looking for it, definitely check out your stores to see if they have it. So here's our clock here. So I went ahead and I took out the screws in the back so we can have access to the numbers. Next, I'm positioning my rhinestone onto my numbers. So all I did was just cut out this rhinestone here and I placed it where I wanted it positioned. Next, I peeled the back end from the rhinestone and I positioned it where I wanted it positioned. So after that, I'm placing my glass back onto my clock and I just kind of put it back together. Next, I'm placing my mirrors all around the front part of my clock. So if you've never seen me separate the mirrors from the photo frame, I'll leave a card up here so you can go check that out. And you want to make sure that the spacing is about right. Next, I'm using E6000 and hot glue to place my mirror onto my clock and I did that for all of it next I'll be using this button that I already had you can also get button from Walmart to place it where there's a little space in so to do this I'm gonna go ahead and use hot glue so again I just kind of applied some hot glue right there and I positioned my button in there, the next step is optional. I decided to add this rhinestone around my clock. And here's the final result of my DIY here. I really, really love the way this turned out. And it really goes well with my style. Oh my gosh, I think this turned out so beautiful. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. Compared to $109, this was such an inexpensive DIY. Let me know if this is something that you would try. And let's go ahead and get started with our second DIY. So here's the mirror that I'll be using here. I got this from Family Dollar. Family Dollar does have bigger mirrors compared to the Dollar Tree. And I love that it actually comes with the frame. So we're going to go ahead and create our design on the frame. So here's the design that we're creating. Just like the inspiration, we are going to go ahead and start with three of the mirrors going vertically. And then we're going to place the next three mirror horizontal and then again next design vertically and the next design is going to be horizontal so you kind of have an idea of what the design is that is what my inspiration had so i'm going to go ahead and do that for all four parts of this frame So for this part here, I only placed two of the mirrors at the end because of the spacing. So it all depends on what size of frame you use. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for all four parts of this frame. So here it is here. So again, here is the design that I created. So next we'll be using E6000 and hot glue to place the mirror onto the frame. So first I applied some E6000 onto the back of the mirror and then I applied some hot glue and I'm just gonna go ahead and position it where I want it positioned. So again, E6000 and hot glue and I positioned the mirror where I wanted it positioned. I held it in place for the hot glue to dry. So I'm basically just going to go ahead and repeat the same step um, just all around the mirror with the E6000 and the hot glue. Now 
Next, I apply some A6000 and some hot glue all around the frame of the mirror. And we're gonna go ahead and place the mirror back onto the frame. And here's the final result of the second DIY here. I really, really love the way this turned out. And it really goes well with my style. I think this turned out so beautiful for such an inexpensive mirror DIY. This is beautiful compared to the inspiration This $370. This turned out so beautiful. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. What option would you do? Would you do the clock or would you do the mirror? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section let's get the conversation going so i hope you guys enjoyed this diy if you did please go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and if you're new to our channel i'd love for you to join the moji style family by hitting that subscribe button and until next time you guys have a blessed week love you all bye bye